Sykes, ladies and gentlemen, accepting for Bob Daisley. By the way, I couldn't hear if John mentioned this or not, but Bob has done a tribute record to Gary Moore that recently came out, and it's phenomenal. Some great players on it, including John, who does a version of Still Got the Blues. It's just killer, so that's out right now that Bob Daisley recently uh, put together. Bob lives in Australia, so he couldn't be here with us, and that's why John was accepting for him. Okay, two more awards to go, and uh, you just saw him perform on this stage to induct the great producer, Max Norman. I turn the microphone over to Jean Beauvoir, who's gonna get Max out here. Jean, get up here, man. Here we are again. Is everybody okay? Well, I'm very honored to be up here and be called up here by Pat Giswaldo, who put this whole thing together, as you know. What an amazing thing we've got going. But um, the next person I'm gonna bring up is a legendary producer. Now, what can I say about him? <laughs> For one thing, he's a dear friend. I've had the opportunity to work with him, but he's done everybody from Megadeth, Ozzy Osbourne, Lynch Bob. Um, he's done so many different amazing bands. Um, he's a legend. He's really, um, there's so many great things that he's done. He's inspired our industry and um, he's a great guy too. So I'm going to bring him up right now. It's Mr. Max Norman. ceremony and I want to thank the amazing organizers for a cash only bar <laughs> can we change that next year for fuck's sake <laughs> I uh, also want to thank uh, my delicious beast for being in my life you know who you are. And I want to congratulate all the inductees today, especially Lee Kerslake like, and Bob Daisley, for their irreplaceable contribution to the blizzard of Oz and Diary of a Madman. Let's, let's see if I get sued for that one, Sharon. Uh, I don't think, actually, at the time, any of us realized uh, how auspicious those records would be and how they would stand the test of time. For me, it was more a matter of luck than judgment that I actually remembered where the record button was. I just want to take a minute to recognize uh, some of my friends that couldn't be here tonight. First one is Mick Zane, guitar player from Malice. Mick was also the master builder and crew chief. that enabled us to construct a studio in Arizona for the making of Megadeth's euthanasia record. Mick died of a very aggressive brain cancer a few years ago. But I'm honored and very privileged to be accompanied tonight by Mick's wife, Michelle Landauer. Michelle, you want to stand up really quick? All right. Let's have a round of applause for Michelle. Okay, next guy I want to remember is Nick Menza. 
played drums, played drums on that record and the one previous, and the one previous to that. Nick Menzer died on stage at the Baked Potato in North Hollywood a few years ago, playing the drums that he loved to play. Nick was inducted into this organization last year. Last but not least, the other master builder on that project, another great friend of mine, Mike Brooks, was tragically killed last year, the day after Thanksgiving, in an ATV accident. Three great friends that I will always remember. So I want to dedicate this award tonight. Hey, shut the fuck up, guys. Yeah! Not just to those three guys. Thanks. But to um, all of our fallen heroes. And I hope we can all try and live our lives for those that can no longer do so. This is for the fallen.